all the books we write and the songs we sing, houses we build, all the things we do will waste away. But the Bible says what you do for God is eternal, like that gold. It will last forever. It will be testified to in heaven forever. Every act you do for God, every thought you have of Jesus is eternal. So we are to give our best to God, our gold, are most precious to God, your time, your talents, your thoughts, your wealth. It's not your wealth anyway, it was given to you by God. It's held in stewardship. He blesses us, we just hold it in stewardship. It's not ours, and then we're to communicate it to others as he, as he prompts us, and then he always gives us much more, blesses us. But the idea that our talents are best our service, our sacrifice for God is our goal, and it lasts forever. So that even when you're not being evaluated, you're not being tested, you're not being watched, you do your best for God because you're doing it for God. And it doesn't matter if anybody else notices, it doesn't matter if you're appreciated or not, you're doing it for God. And he knows it. Because it's your best, it's your gold that you're giving him. Frankincense is a sweet incense, as you know. I love to burn incense. If you go in my office, you can probably still smell some. Frankincense. <coughs> frankincense is a sweet incense. You know, incense is just. It's a plant or a tree resin. It's like sap. It's tree sap. Harden. And then you, you burn it on coals, and it looks like smoke. It's actually vapor. The, the, the sap or tree resin is melting and giving off the vapor and the scent that goes with that. Um, it's a perfume. Frankincense has a particularly lovely scent and aroma creates an atmosphere that is heaven-like. You know, when we're in heaven, it isn't just going to look beautiful and sound beautiful with heavenly choirs. It's going to have a wonderful scent. People who've gone to heaven briefly and reported back what they saw and heard said everything's different. The, the ground you walk on, if you're not flying, I guess, is, is, is sort of spongy and soft. The heavenly choirs, the sounds beyond any earthly music, and the sense, but incense has always been thought to be a hint of the aroma in heaven, and frankincense is a particularly sweet aroma. And Jesus is sweet. His spirit is sweet. The Christ-like spirit is sweet. And we are to give our sweetness to Jesus, our goodness, such as there is, our love, our kindness and gentleness, for his spirit is sweet. So the sign of Christian is a sweet spirit. And we all know from the saints we've met, the many saints we've had in this church, some of whom passed away this year, that there was a sweetness, there was a gentleness in their spirit like that frankincense. Myrrh is another form of incense, a resin, hardened and burned. But myrrh, as you may know, is a bitter spice. It, it has a bitter, pungent odor, which is why when it's used in incense, it's often mixed with frankincense. It's called sweet myrrh, because myrrh by itself is almost impossible be around. It's very hard and harsh and bitter. Which represents, of course, the bitterness that Christ went through in his rejection and his crucifixion, his death. It also represents our bitter sadness, our bitter tears over our sins. When God enlightens us by his spirit and we see ourselves as God sees us, we're not the terrific people we thought we were. We're not the good guys or the 
best one is, well, yeah, I've done a few bad things, but I've done so many good things it makes up for it. <laughs>